Church here, and welcome to the Game Grinder. Today I'd like to do an unboxing of the Tales of Zestiria Collector's Edition. Uh, this is obviously the latest game in the Tales series to come out, and I've actually only played Tales of Destiny for the PlayStation 1, so I'm pretty far behind on this series, but I actually have a few of the other games that I wholly intend to play eventually, uh, as usual, but... Uh, you know, since I'm kind of getting more into the uh, current generation JRPGs, even though I haven't really played that many, um, I've been starting to check them out a little bit, and this one looked pretty cool, um, and since I'm somewhat familiar with the Tale series, I figured, why not? And the uh, Collector's Edition actually looked pretty cool, so I figured, why the hell not, you know? Um, as I say, you know, I'm a huge sucker for collector's editions, as silly as it may be, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the plastic off here and we can check it out. So I was hoping pulling the plastic off would kind of reduce some of the reflection, but it looks like it uh, didn't really help that much. But it uh, comes in a nice uh, plastic protector, which is you know great because it keeps the game safer, where a lot of my collector's editions are just in cardboard boxes and it's really easy for the ends to get uh, frayed or worn out just by moving it around, picking it up. But it's a pretty cool looking little box here. Um, you know, it seems like they put effort into the other collector collector's editions quite a bit. Um, so if I can ever find any of those for cheap enough, I guess, I might uh, consider picking them up. But uh, this being news to me is there's a seal on the top that says... Um, Tales of 20th Anniversary, so series has been around for 20 years, so congrats to them on that. I, I think it originally started on the Super Nintendo, or uh, Super Famicom anyways, but I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I'll have to get a little bit more learned on the series, and of course the back kind of shows everything that it comes with, and obviously we'll just get to there when... We get there, so I'll pull off the plastic now. Yeah, so pretty cool. The uh, plastic is printed with the graphics, um, which gives it kind of a neat look. And then the uh, box itself, uh, obviously Tales of Zestiria Collector's Edition, and the uh, artwork on the, the sides we already saw. And I, I dig the art style for this game. This is kind of... Um, Reminds me of more kind of classic days of anime, but um, I haven't really followed anime too much in the last 10 years or so. So, uh, pop it open. Well, of course, it being really cool that when you open up a box, you see all kinds of goodies. So, I dig that. So, I guess without further ado then, let's uh, start pulling things out here. So, the first thing we got here, of course, is the game. Tales of Hysteria for the PlayStation 4. And then it also comes with a steel book, which, as I've said before, I'm a big fan of steel books. Um, you know, just uh, something a little, a little nicer. Um, I think they always look pretty good, even if they're super plain. And uh, let's see. Then we got the uh, <clears throat> special selection CD. I think um, I'm not really sure what that has. I guess I should read the box, I know it comes with a soundtrack and a movie, so this might be the movie, maybe? Eh, I guess we'll find out as we go through here. Uh, so next then, this is going to be the movie. Um, this is Tales of Zestiria, Dawn of the Shepherd, um, on Blu-ray, so that's cool. I'll probably have to look up to see if this is for, during, or after the game, and that will affect when I actually sit down and watch this, because I just like to keep things in chronological order. So then we also have a neat little art book. Um, I can usually dig art books quite a bit. Um, it's just nice. Uh, it gives a little bit more appreciation to some of the process, and you know, if the game has cool artwork, it uh, shows off a lot of that, and Sometimes it shows you the development process and whatnot, so I'll have to 
flip through that a little bit more in depth later. Um, so then next we have the limited edition retro keychain set. And this is something I'm not too interested in. Let's see if I can open this. All right, so that was a little bit tougher to open than I was expecting, but what it is is a uh, 8-bit, no, kind of 16-bit, I guess, 16-bit style um, representations of the main characters. So, you now even though I'm not a big uh, keychain guy, I can, I can dig it. You know, it's something a little different. I, I can't really say many of my other collector's editions have. Uh, keychain things. I got a few that come with dog tags and uh, a few other things, but nope, so there's that. And then kind of the the um, I guess main attraction to this collector's edition is the limited edition Chibi Kyun Kara figure set. Um, I, I've seen the, uh, these uh, sort of styled uh, figurines for all sorts of things, but I've never really looked into them too much. Um, I don't know, they usually seem like they're a little pricey for like individual figures, not necessarily ones that come with like collector's editions of games. But, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of starting to warm up to the idea um, ever since uh, I kind of started having a little bit more interest in adding some more spice to the way my collection looks, even though it's still pretty plain for the most part. Um, I just have such a hard time pulling stuff out of the box, uh, being the collector that I am. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we can check these out a little closer. So this shows how much I don't know about these kind of figures. So apparently there is some assembly required, and I will probably check these out a little bit more closely once I have a little bit more time because um, it's not too interested in putting these all together and it seems like it could be a little time-consuming process and who really cares uh, watching that but a little uh, close-up of what the figures look like let's see yeah there we go so that's basically what they look like um, they're pretty detailed so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah so that is the Tales of Zestiria collector's edition um, I think it's a pretty cool collector's edition. Um, just uh, some things a little bit more unique, the figures and the keychain, and uh, I think most game collector's editions should come with a steelbook and an art book and a soundtrack. Um, I mean, that's doesn't get any easier than that, really. And then, you know, the other stuff's just a little extra uh, fun stuff, I guess. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed checking out the uh, Tales of Hysteria Collector's Edition unboxing. Ooh. Well, as per usual then, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a like and share and let me know what your thoughts are on this one. And of course, as always, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and links are in the description. Until next time on The Game Grinder. Well, why not? Uh, you know, might as well check these out. So... Went ahead and put all these little figures together, and I gotta say they are uh, actually pretty cool. So I'll just kind of show them off here. So they each come with their own little stand, although it doesn't like necessarily lock them in. But uh, these are really, really detailed. Uh, let's see if I can show them off well. Yeah. So come on, focus. Yeah. Now there's quite a bit of detail on these guys. Um. Yeah, they're. Uh, pretty cool so that's the main dude and I have no idea who these other characters are but um, yeah I'll kind of show them off here well you know they're a little uh, a little cheesy you know that they're, they're that whole uh, chibi um, anime style of characters so they're all like cutesy and whatnot um, but you know uh, for a little figurine, I say they look uh, pretty cool, actually. So I'm kind of glad I decided to do this. So, um, yeah. So, uh, let's see if I can. Hard to hold. Show them off well. So here's another one. Which comes with a little parasol. 
now. So that's, uh... Yeah, these are actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'm glad I decided to put them together instead of just throwing them back in the box and calling it good. So I would definitely like to see some more of this sort of thing in the future in collector's editions, or maybe I'll even kind of check out some figures. You know, I got a few other kind of little things, like I got these Final Fantasy ones, and I do have a few Amiibo, it's just for the heck of it, but... Um, yeah, these are actually kind of impressive with the amount of detail they have. So, alright, well, serious this time. Next time on the Game Grinder.